contest number six is still live and exclusive on VMPBoxing.tv and on Facebook. This contest is six three-minute rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Introducing to you firstly boxing out on the blue corner, wearing the green, yellow and claret coloured shorts. At the weight he scaled eight stone, 11 pounds, seven ounces. From six contests, he has two wins, three defeats, and a single draw. Presenting from Liverpool, here is the Battalion Stallion, Ricky Starkey. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white colour shorts trimmed with claret. At the weight he scaled, eight stone, 12 pounds, five ounces, his perfect unblemished pure record this evening four contests four wins one of those wins coming by way of knockouts presenting the undefeated young man from blackburn here is omar desari timekeeper at the bell is burnley's gary grennan referee darren sargentson in charge of the action six three minute rounds Okay, fellas, you both know the rules. Let's keep it clear. If you're low, I want you to watch your heads. When I say break, set for all times. Touch gloves. Here we go. Six rounds uh, for Battalion Stallion Ricky Starkey mm -hmm. against the unbeaten Omar Dusri. I think most people here think this is going to be fight of the night. Both Second guys are coming out. to win. Both guys 100% belief in themselves and we both like to fight. Yeah, it's going to be a tasty fight, this. Ricky Stark he's, has come to fight and you can see straight away. Yeah. I know Omar's had four fights, he's won them all. He's beat a, like, a couple of good lads in there. Craig Darvish can fight, and Omar beat yeah, that, him. That, yeah, that, uh, that Craig Darvish was a good win. But uh, this is probably the first person who's going to come at him all out oh, aggression. No, a nice little left, little left up by Omar. And then Ricky Starkey came back though then. Oh, Ooh, nice right by right. Starkey and a, a right by Doozy. This has picked up straight away, hasn't it? That's right. I hit you, you hit me. First time really we've seen Doosby look deadly serious in there. Usually he's messing about, winking at the crowd and stuff, doing what he does, but... There's still time, Luke. Well, true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's taking it deadly serious. He knows he's a threat tonight, yeah, doesn't exactly. he? Yeah, Starkey's last fight, he fought uh, Mark Evans up at super featherweight. And uh, he was boxing really well, wasn't yeah. he? He was an underdog, but he broke Evans' nose and was fighting very well until he got taken out. In a, was it the fourth round he yeah. got taken out? He broke Evans' nose and Evans just thought, I need to go for this here, didn't he? Uh, and it worked for him. And it, he looked devastating when he did do, but he caused Evans a lot of problems. Getting, getting knocked out can go one or two ways, though, can't it, Ash? You know, would he decide to play safer now or... Was it, would he take confidence from how well he was doing before the shot? Who's that? Um, like any boxer, really. It's one of them, and it fight or fight, and it? it's like, yeah. um, it's one of them grey areas, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Like you, yourself now, after, after the bill, bill yeah. out, will, will you automatically just be a bit more cautious? Or um, do we just take confidence from knowing how well you fought in the condition you were in? Uh, well, in the back of me, I'm. I'm saying, I'm, no, I'm not going to take any caution, I'm just going to carry on with what I was doing, but yeah. until they actually get in there, you won't know. I mean, it, it probably also depends on the way it happened. Like, you, you were in that fight, yeah. and the same way that Starkey was definitely in the fight with Mark Evans, whereas yeah. if you get blown out in a round, then maybe you think differently, but yeah. when, when you're in the fight, it, it's a different thing, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah, I mean, the fight with Bill, I think um, we knew how that fight was going to go. We knew that he would take the first couple of rounds anyway. Yeah. 
That was an entertaining first round, that was. It was, yeah. Both come to fight. I mean, Ricky's brought a fair amount of support with him. I think they think it's one Ricky can win, don't they, the team yeah. there? I wouldn't even know how to score that, then. Ten seconds, corners. Second out, round two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man, didn't like that. He offered no. his glove, and Ricky Starkey <laughs> went for him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looked like one in people, Ricky Stack, that he looks permanently annoyed. <laughs> 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 Probably looks annoyed on his christening pictures. <laughs> but you can see what he's trying to do here, can't you? He's trying to make it rough and yeah. throw out Omar off his stride. It's working this round. Yeah. Omar's just got no time, has he, to get his shots off? No. He needs to come off at a bit of an angle as well, Omar, when he's going backwards, going back in straight lines. Yeah, if he just steps off to left or right, he can turn yeah. Ricky, can't he? Yeah. It's easier said than done when you've got someone like Ricky Stacks at 100 mile now anyway. But, yeah. Nice shot there by Omar then. So this will do all my dues with a world of good, won't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, he's dictated the pace and done what he's wanted really in all his fights so far. Yeah. He's not having it all his own way today. <laughs> you ever fought anyone like this, Ash, who just mauls you and plows forward no matter what? Uh, I fought a guy from Bulgaria, um, that, uh, um, Angle Emilov, um, over, over six rounds when I was up at Johnny Roy's in Preston, and he came out like a raging bull all all six rounds, and that was that, that was hard going that. Yeah, yeah. Because he came over, I think um, I think he was five and three when he came over. And it was six rounds of this. Six rounds of this. He dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> this gets shown in the fifth round. I think he popped it back in himself, and that was it. It was off again. I was like, "Oh my God, what am oh, I up like against a here? <laughs> what am I up against here?" He used yeah. to uh, did it for years. Brazilian jiu-jitsu, Ash, and uh, the fellow used to teach was a Brazilian called Gabriel Kitaba, and he dislocated his shoulder one afternoon, and it came out in the in the gym where we were, and he decided to run into a wall to put it back and smashed his shoulder, so he then had a dislocated and broken <laughs> shoulder. He had to get him loaded no into way. an ambulance. No yeah, way. yeah, seriously. Gabriel was tough. Sounds like it. Getting a warning here, Ricky Starkey. We've been threatened with being thrown out. I didn't really see that. What was all that about? It's a bit did, of rough of his head, Luke. Yeah, not so much that I think a disqualification's close, as the referee said, but... It's just, just on him, wasn't it? Yeah, just when you're getting close, you see a lot of pros do it, they just use the head as a, an extra weapon, and that's all he was doing there. Yeah, it's a tough round to score, isn't it? I, I think Omar probably landed the odd cleaner shot, but Ricky... The work rate from Ricky. Okay. Work rate, constant yeah. work rate for three minutes. Although if the referee's scoring and the referee's had to warn him... You don't know, do you? Got to learn to watch the pen, haven't you? When you're commentating.
But yeah, from Starkey then, I'm not sure it, it was too bad. I mean, I've, I've seen his last couple of fights. He fought George Brennan at, uh, at bowlers, and, and Brennan decided to hold him every time he came in and not throw anything. And that was a real stinker of a fight. It ended up in a draw, that one. And whereas so Mark Evans, he chose to fight fire with fire, didn't he? And that turned out to be a great fight. So. Yeah. I think Dewsbury's doing the same thing as Evans did there. Seconds He's still out. trying to be active, Round throwing a lot three. of shots. It's been a good contest so far. Yeah. See that? Ricky Stark has clearly got the work rate line. All man's got the, got the classier shots. Just, just um, what the referee wants. Looking for, that was a nice shot there by Omar. I think that, that warning will play into the hands of Omar as well because Ricky will, will know now he can't just charge in like he did in that last round. Yeah. And, and when it's been a boxing like this with jabs, you know Omar's oh, wow. got to come out on top with a lovely right hand there. Yeah, it just uh, Ricky fell in after that. I don't know if it was a punch or whether it was just Ricky closing the distance, but that was a, a lovely right hand, wasn't it? It's pretty well to take that, actually. Yeah, I think you're right there, Luke. If Ricky stands off, he's only get outboxed and pits apart, isn't he? He's, he's, even though he's had a warning, he's got to get that distance yeah. closed. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Keep going, Ricky! Simple shots here, one, two, that's it. The problem for Ricky, when he when he does come in like that, he's, he's not he's hard to land anything clean, yeah. isn't it? Because he's coming in so quick. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Smothering his own work a lot. Yeah, like I say, he's got a good, he's got a good work rate, hasn't he? But like, smothers a lot of his own shots. And I think Omar's wised up to it a little bit now that he, he can just tie him up when he comes in close. And then once they're back at range, uses jab and he can win the rounds by doing that. Yeah. Well, he's in the opening couple. He seemed to panic a little bit when Starkey closed the distance. He didn't really know what to do. I do think, do you reckon as soon as Omar gets Ricky moving backwards, it's Omar's fight, isn't it? Yeah. I say he's doing well now, going backwards. As soon as Omar starts putting some pressure on that, I think that's it's Omar's fight then. But he's doing very well, Omar, to land as, as many clean shots as he is doing. Yeah. Keep going, A lot of mauling and holding in this round, really. Uh, Ricky's going to get a warning here now. It's just a blatant shot behind me head. Yeah, you didn't need to do that. Not in a close fight like this, you didn't need to do that. It's going to be a, it's going to be a point taken off after the yeah. warning he had in the previous round. And he knew as soon as he did it as well. He turned round and you could see him gesturing to his corner. He realised he was wrong, wrong to do it. Like I said, when the referee's um, scoring the fight, you don't want to start denying him here. <laughs> well, it's no signal for a point off, but because he's scoring it himself, does he have to signal? That's a very good question, actually. I actually yeah. don't know that. <laughs> I mean, I think we should know that, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> Answers on a postcard. <laughs> we'll sort you out a prize. And Ashley Payton signed 8 by 10 for the person who gives us the, uh, <laughs> the correct answer to that one. You thought of things tonight, Ashley. We so far tonight we like Shakib Ali. He's with good, yeah, he's a good fighter, isn't he? Yeah, it's the first time I've actually seen Shakib live. I've seen him um, on the streams and that, but um, he throws a lovely uppercut, doesn't he? Very, very good. I say, is he, is he, is he down at lightweight? Super February or lightweight. Super February or lightweight. Ten seconds, scorers. Yeah, um, you, you don't see either get caught that many times, but oh. he, he was catching him a, a lot. 
Second down. Round four. Yeah. He's already had an for that here. I mean, has he had four? Five? Four? That was it. Fifth or sixth tonight. Was it something like that? If you're Ricky Stark, you know, what do you do? You know, you've had, you've done your best when you've crowded it and made it rough, but you've just had it. serious warnings. What do you do? I don't know. I mean, he's it's, it's come forward, hasn't he? And obviously, he's been getting caught going forward. He's not, not having a lot going forward now. And Head's getting yeah, close then. Yeah. See, Omar's feeling a lot more comfortable in there now. Just go, he's just still going backwards in straight lines. But other than that, I think he's controlling this now. It's almost as if he's waiting to feel the ropes, isn't it, on his back before he spins away. Yeah. I think he could just buy himself a lot more time if he took a side yeah. step instead of going back. I think because Ricky comes forward that quick anyway, he's not got that much time to think anyway. Yeah. That's it, it's easier, it's easier said than done. Stark his head. That must have been from the head clash. Yeah, he's got a big cut on the back of his head, hasn't yeah. he? How he's managed that, God knows. I think, yeah, I think it's when the head come, came close. But they don't see any signs on him all, man. Big breath then from Omar. It is going to be hard work, this, isn't it? Oh, it's a totally different fight than he used to. You know, it's a lot of mauling, wrestling, or holding. Yeah. That was ever, when I fought, and when I fought Riaz over eight rounds, it was that was that was hard going in itself. Just don't get a break. I think Omar just needs to step up, just, just keep his distance now, just catch him, just one or two clean shots, keep moving around. But it surprised me that I was actually fighting inside with Ricky as well. Yeah, I, I, I thought he'd look to get broken up yeah. and get back to distance, but he's, he's fighting, isn't he? What do you make of his skirt shorts? <laughs> Actually, can you see pretty his old sport? Then, no, I don't think I'd sport something like that, but they are pretty unique. <laughs> he doesn't even wear like Under Armour <laughs> shorts or anything under it, does he? He's just got his boxer shorts on. I've not been looking. Yeah, well, when he's on the ropes in front of me, I hope you're not. Nice little yeah. view of him. I hope you're not watching him widescreen. Yeah. <laughs> I think Kremlin wears something like that, doesn't he? Uh, Kremlin's one of a one of a kind, isn't yeah, he? He's, wa he's watching somewhere. Is he is he logged on? Yeah, he, was, uh, he said he was watching there. He those was, white watching jeans, from holiday those somewhere. Those white jeans kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he turns up in those white jeans. Oh. Kremner's over in Dominican Republic at the minute. Is that, is that where he is? I've seen him on Facebook somewhere. Yeah, if he's wearing them white jeans, it'd be like the 80s Miami Vice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I reckon... <laughs> painted on the, the, the tight. Shocking. <laughs> I, I reckon Kremner's girlfriend dresses him anyway. <laughs> Second down, round five. Did you see what he did to her before they went away, actually? I think she must have got him to do a spray tan, and he went oh, yeah, about yeah. five shades darker on purpose. <laughs> I've seen that, I saw that. <laughs> I hope she gets him back before a fight anyway. <laughs> turns up that colour. She was mahogany. Yeah, it was, it was pretty dark. If Kremner's back on her for Jolly Boys show in December, I'm hoping there's no uh, video commentary for that because that's one of the best days out of the year, isn't it? But I've never if, um, been there. I've never been to the Joy Boys. Well, you got to come this year, Ash. Yeah, you got to come Where's this year. Where's that this time? I think it's at the Victoria Warehouse. It's him and Blackledge on it, isn't it? The Manchester one, there's a Liverpool one as well. Yeah. Uh, finally, a point taken off here, Ricky Starkey. There's the answer to the question, though. He yeah. does have to signal. 
Oh, Ricky was lucky to get away with one in the previous round, then, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. See Ricky try and go for it now. Let's <laughs> close again, man. From speaking to people before, a lot of people thought this might become a, a really hard fight if if Starkey could make it physical. But to Omar's credit, yeah, it, it, he's hung in there, hasn't he? You know, he's not been found wanting really. Yeah, well, after the first round, I didn't think Omar be able to be able to cope with the pressure, but he's, he's done very well. He's actually really nice. I say he's weathered the storm, didn't he, in that first and second round? That's not there by Ricky. <laughs> Corner screaming at Starkey. They think that had a bit of an effect, don't they? Oh, he did. His, 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 leg, his legs went and he just stepped off. And Ricky just left him to, uh, left him to recover. Bizarre from Starkey, wasn't it? He, he just didn't seem to engage after. Yeah. I don't know if he did hurt Elmore or not, but. Elmore's well, leg definitely did go whether he was hurt or not, but he just, just stood there and just let him yeah. recover. Oh, I wonder if Ricky thinks, you know, he's cornered on him to get in, but I wonder if Ricky thinks he did hurt him and now he thinks he can do it with one shot rather than yeah. trying, to, trying to maul him and get it done on work right. But it, looks like, it looks like he's recovered enough now, isn't he, Omar? <laughs> See Ricky Starkey there egging Omar on. Omar's doing the right thing though, isn't it? He's, he's not engaging, not, yeah, not having not. any of it. Final round coming up. We've got to have uh, Omar's head on points here, isn't he? It's just uh, whether Ricky decides to pour it all into this yeah. last three minutes or whether he decides to stand off and pot shot again like he just did in the fifth. To be honest, what we thought was going to be a, a real give and take hard battle, Omar sort of negated Ricky Asney and you know, found a way to dominate without doing it in a spectacular fashion. Yeah, but the way that Ricky came out in the first two rounds, I thought that was how it was going to be. Well, credit to Omar, he's, um, he's adaptive round, he's doing a job on him. But I can see Ricky coming out in the last round, one, 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 having that point taken off. Ten Seconds out for the sixth and final round. There you go, Ricky's come out now, all gun blazing, quite with the right hand. Oh, there's your answer, that's there's what Ricky's going to do. <laughs> he's not standing off looking for a single shot, he's going to give it everything he's got. Yeah, I think he knows he's down on points. Couple of nice hooks there from Omar. Head's, head's flying everywhere. Ricky on Ricky inside then. Connor screaming him on, aren't they? It's nice to actually see like a really good competitive six round fight as well. Yeah. He'll do all my all my will learn more from this six rounds than he will his previous four fights, won't yeah, he? Yeah, without a doubt. 
do wonders for his confidence as well. You know, he'll know he can he can come through someone just putting it yeah. on him constantly. Yeah, because we... not that Omar has any problem with his confidence. <laughs> <really. laughs> not at all. <laughs> just added something to his game, hasn't he? Though no, knows that he can do it. Very big, deep breath, yeah. and he looked tired, didn't he? Then Ricky landed a right hook. It looked just looks like Omar's got really tired there in the last 30 seconds. Yeah, I think he just needs to stay away now. Omar just flipped that jab out. You see this round out. Saying that just under the nice right hand of the Omar Duz is really tired here, but I just think Ricky's too tired himself to capitalise. Yeah. He's still smothering his own work as well, Ricky. Just needs to step that extra half a step back. Come on, Kingo! Come on, Kingo, <laughs> playing, to the, playing to the corner there of Ricky's. <laughs> that was a good fight, that. Yeah, that's the end of it. I tell you, it, it was messy. <laughs> it was heated, but it was also pretty entertaining, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. It's all right, isn't it? Go on, Lee Hogan, the voice of VIP. What did you think, Lee? Oh, don't tell me. We're not asking you one. What did you think of the fight? I love the fight. I thought they both, um, both brought out the best in one another. He had to dig deep there, Omar. And uh, Ricky was digging deep all the way through it. And, you know, that's all you can hope for, isn't it? Eh? Both of them to deliver, and they did. So, who's got it? I don't know. I think the point, the starting point might be... Oh, we, 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 we're pretty sure Omar's got it. Yeah, well, I think that yeah. deciding the, the point deduction might be the deciding factor. So. I'll tell you what, old Lee, Omar had to show something completely different there, and he did it pretty well, didn't yeah, he? he? He tired and then managed to pick it up in that last round, which I was surprised about, so... Tough for both of them. Both delivered. I'm gonna go Are for a little guess here. I'm gonna go for the, the, there's gonna be four there's gonna be four, um, four points in this. Yeah, is that what you want? No. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. What are you saying? Like a 59, 55 or a 58, 54. Something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, before we render the result, 59, please give 55. a round of applause to both Ricky Starkey yeah. and Omar go Gazari. 58, 54. Nice That'll little be right. Right. <laughs> After six hard fought rounds of boxing, referee Darren Sargentson has scored the contest 57 points to 57 points. The result oh, is a draw, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there we go, it's Let's a draw. It and if Ricky Starkey hadn't had the point taken away, Ricky Starkey would have won. Well, I was pretty surprised at that, but obviously he had a lot of pressure going on Ricky, Ricky didn't he? he, had, he, he um, He's obviously uh, scored it on pressure rather than clean shots, hasn't he? Yeah. But I suppose it all goes back down to you get a different view from inside the ring, don't you, to, to what we see and what everyone else sees. And boxing's so subjective that things like that happen. Ricky Starkey looks over the moon with that. I know you'll be watching this back, Ricky. <laughs> we fought all my Sorry, one. mate. <laughs> but uh, well done to you. You made it your kind of fight. 